Hey, what's up? So, uh, Jude, uh, verses 22 and 23, it says, and, and of some have compassion, making a difference. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. So, um, you need different approaches for different people. Um, yeah, just because you're going to talk to different people, and anyone will tell you that, that, you know, people are different, they have different personalities, you need to approach them differently. So, um, some, it's enough to talk about God's grace and God's love and compassion. You know, I mean, yeah, you should be compassionate towards all people. So, for some, compassion is enough to get them saved, you know, to, to see God's love. And then they're like, oh, wow, okay, I need this. That's enough. For others, it's not enough. Others, they need fear. They need hellfire and brimstone preaching. And I think there's not enough of that these days, the hellfire and brimstone preaching. Um, you, you need, but you need to strike a balance for this. You know, you can't just have the compassion because that's just love. And we've had to, I guess, our, our, our the preaching's been way too compassionate because you can see the state of the churches. That happens when you have too much compassion. Um, and then if you have too much fire and brimstone preaching, then you get some kind of legalistic Amish cult. That's what happens when you have the fire, too much of the fire and brimstone preaching. And as all as I always preach, you, we want to strike a balance. You know, you need, you need to be, uh, you need to have God. You need to be close to God and keep that stuff in balance. Because people really like to gravitate towards extremes. They like to be really, you know, cut and dry on that, that kind. Of, you know, they they like to go towards the extremes. So you get like you know, so you get like, you know, super woke liberal ideology in one end and then you get like, you know, the, the legalism on the other and neither are, are correct. Um, so, you know, when you're witnessing to someone or talking to someone, just the approaches are different. So the problem with today's society is that um, they understand the compassion. Uh, they understand the idea of the compassion. They don't always know how to use it correctly. And they apply it incorrectly. I, I think that's the correct way to talk about modern society is that they apply compassion incorrectly. And Christians apply compassion incorrectly. And they're willing to pervert the Bible because of their incorrect idea, uh, ideas about the correct uh, compassion. You know, they have a wrong idea about uh, the compassion Jesus showed. Yes, Jesus showed compassion, but... This is the same God that's willing to throw people into hell. So you have to, you, you do have to understand that. This is, it's, it's not, a, it's not just, just compassionate God all the time. Uh, you do need to have fear and reverence for the, for the Lord. Um, so for some people, you really do need fear. And some people need that. Some kids need that. They need that in their, you know, to be disciplined. Or they need that. They need fear. Because, I mean, if the compassion's good enough, great. But if the compassion's not enough, you're going to have to switch to the method number two, and that is fear. Um, because you do need that. Fear will keep you out of doing stupid things, okay? It will keep you from getting yourself killed, running across, like having a kid running across the street, and getting hit by a car, or, you know, just, it keeps you from doing stupid stuff, okay? Uh like, I, w I, w I don't do crazy stuff. I don't get on motorcycles, okay? I have fear of that kind of stuff. It keeps me safe. I'll probably, hopefully, live longer. Not necessarily, but you don't do crazy stuff. You, you stay away from danger. You, statistically, you'll probably live longer. Um, so, it's the same thing in the spiritual sense. You need to have fear. If you have fear of God statistically you will have you'll be spiritually healthier so um so anyway just understand when you're dealing with people um there's different methods yes we need wisdom okay wisdom will allow you to approach each situation the same way um you know i'm someone like i teach math and in math we always have one clear-cut answer two plus two is always four and very simple so you know i can get you can i can get kind of like you always want to do things the same method, right? So that's how I'm used to doing things because that's how you do it in math. In real life, it doesn't work like that. You need, you need wisdom. You need to try different approaches sometimes. Sometimes the same thing doesn't work. So um, so anyway, method one, so you need compassion and fear. And you need God's wisdom to know when to apply those. 
So anyway, um, I'll keep it brief. Uh, see you next time.